Hi all, in this video I'm going to show you how to keep your MacBook awake when the lid is closed. So basically, when the lid is closed and it's still broadcasting uh, your computer information to either an HDMI TV or an external display, it's called clamshell mode. Probably the reason it's called clamshell mode is the original MacBooks that were brought out by Apple had those colorful orange and blue ones that kind of looked like a clamshell and when they were closed and attached to an external device they were able to display uh, basically whatever was on that computer on an external monitor and they called it clamshell mode because of it. So there are many ways to activate clamshell mode on your Mac and basically it's when your computer is closed it doesn't go to sleep so when the lid is closed it's not going to sleep it's still processing and doing whatever it needs to do. So there's a lot of reasons why you might want to have it not go to sleep. For example, you're downloading a file. You don't want the light on all night long in your room, so you want to just close the lid and have it continue to download the file. So you may want to activate a no sleep setting on it uh, in order to do that. Well, there are some applications and utilities out there that can do it, but I'm going to first show you how to activate it without those utilities, and then if all of those items don't work for you, I'll show you a utility that will work in spite of uh, the system settings that have to be set up in order for uh, clamshell mode to activate. So here on the screen is a typical example. You have a MacBook and you have an external monitor and you want to hook it up and when you want to close this lid you still want it to broadcast on this display. So the way to do that is you power on your computer, you then uh, close the lid, will put the computer to sleep automatically. So that's part of the way it works. It automatically goes to sleep if the lid is closed. Now, how do you keep it from sleeping? Well, you have to connect your monitor, which is through the display ports of your computer to your external monitor, connect your power cable, and then connect a USB external keyboard and mouse. When you do this, uh, automatically clamshell mode is activated on your computer, and to wake it, wake your computer up while it's sleeping and while the computer's uh, lid is closed, you either have to click on a mouse button or press any key on your keyboard, on your USB keyboard. What will happen is your external display will flash blue um, and in a few seconds uh, an image would, should appear on the screen. If you don't have a USB keyboard and mouse and using a Bluetooth, there is a way to set that up. Uh, you simply open up uh, your MacBook lid because you'll have to go to your system preferences under the Apple menu. You're going to then select Bluetooth turn Bluetooth on if it's not already on and of course you would have to pair your device if you didn't pair it yet then click advanced and you have to check this box called allow Bluetooth devices to wake this computer so let's go ahead and look at that if we go to system preferences and we go to Bluetooth my Bluetooth as you can see is on I'm gonna click advanced over here and this is the checkbox you have to have on this will allow a keyboard mouse or trackpad that is paired by Bluetooth to wake the computer when it goes to sleep and this should work if you have an external display. So these are the items that will normally work but there is another item called no sleep uh, that you can download for free and install into your system preferences. So let's go ahead and look at that and I'll leave a link in the uh, comments of this video so that you can download it and it's free. So uh, here it is. Uh, it's called No Sleep. You simply click uh, this one, 1 1.40, and it will download. Once it downloads, you'll go to your Downloads folder. You'll see an application called No Sleep. You'll double click on it, and you'll see that. You're just going to install this one. This is the uninstall. If you don't want to have it installed, it's good to keep uh, that handy in case something doesn't work for you. So you're going to install this No Sleep. Once it's installed, you'll go through the process. Uh, the installation will be successful once it's done. You can close that. And once all that is done, go under your Apple menu, System Preferences, and you're going to see this new extension called No Sleep. And here is the beauty of this. Never sleep on AC adapter. Never sleep on battery. So you can decide that when this is on the battery mode, meaning it should never sleep, and never sleep on AC mode when the AC is plugged in it should never go to sleep however you're not going to want to keep those settings on all the time you probably will turn these on when you need it and turn them off when you don't so for example if I was going to use this computer tonight 
uh, by connecting my HDMI adapter directly to my television, and now I want to watch a movie on it, I will say never sleep on adapter, never sleep on battery, just so that it doesn't go to sleep while I'm watching the movie. And when I'm done with the movie, I would come back here and uncheck it. So that's all there is to it. And it's a free application. It works beautifully. And uh, they do have this version working in Yosemite. So I'll leave the link to this uh, utility. You can try it out. But if you don't need the utility because you simply have to just plug in that Bluetooth or USB keyboard, that's a choice as well. So use one or the other or both, however you'd like. And like the video if you enjoyed watching this. And subscribe to my channel. And thanks for listening.